So I've just arrived at DSG Morgan. I'm gonna get the optional security update on the key. Then we're gonna find out what they actually do. And the most important question is, do I keep this current button key or do I get the new horrible looking UFO key that's with the new model year 25 that doesn't need the optional update? Because we are getting new keys and an update to the software. So does that mean that the new, the old key isn't compatible anymore and you have to get the new key? Stick around to find out. Don't forget to click subscribe and that notification bell to stick up with updates with the Hyundai security update and what happens if you don't get one. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not in the Hyundai Ionic 5 and that's because it's just not ready yet. Um, went to go and pick it up and unfortunately the Hyundai service had crashed. The, engine, uh, the technician tried several times to try and get the car to be updated, but the Hyundai service just wouldn't connect. It was saying the updates weren't available for the car. So we couldn't get everything done, the keys done, and the update done to the security update. Now I was having another load of updates like the ICCU and battery checks and other stuff going on updates. They did carry out the service, but they were just waiting for the Hyundai service to come back up to form the other updates. So they've lent me a Renault Scenic to drive electric, and it's a great car but it's not my Ionic 5, and I can't wait to be reunited back with my car. Now, click subscribe to that notification bell because I do lots of stories around EVs, solar, energy deals like Octopus Energy. Go to evnick.com forward slash energy. You can find out the latest deals on energy deals when it comes to driving an EV because there are some really, really competitive rates around. Hopefully, when you see me come back on the screen in a second, I'm gonna have my Ionic 5. Okay, the car is outside, so just bear with me because I'm gonna get to the car in a minute. But first, what keys have I got? Have I got the old, old style keys or have I got the new ugly UFO keys with the separate key that everybody hates? Well, luckily, it's the old style key. Now, it looks identical. Now, luckily, I took some video uh, footage and some pictures of the old key before I got it taken off me and I also done some videos of the new key so we can compare what we think they may have changed in the physical key. Now to me they look identical for first sort of looking at them there's no extra chips I can see no extra bits and bobs they're both the same on both sides there's no huge different the only difference I can see even the model number by the way on the key is showing the same model number and I've got the larger five button key because I've got the auto park system on mine you might have less buttons on your Ionic 5 key just bear that in mind but the chip number does appear to be different on the new style key to the old style key now this could be that the chip number is different because it's a different serial number of each key, but I think the chip number has the microprocessor bits and that's what they've changed. Now the question is, does this new key stop relay fest? And there's only one way of finding out and that's testing it. Now obviously I don't have the tools to do a relay hack, but I do have the physical key and it's currently been left on top of this wheel for about ooh, 20 minutes to let it go to sleep if it did have a sleep thing on it. So the only way of testing it is touching the door handle and see if it can get open, and it's not. So I'll try the door, or the boot, sorry. Okay. So I don't think the key goes to sleep because the boot wouldn't have opened if the key was asleep. So I don't think it will stop relay fees. I do think the key is physically still alive because it, it, like I said, it's under here. The doors are opening, but that could just be because the key's a bit too far away from the door. So the only way of testing that is moving that key there. Yeah, I just think that key was too far away from the door. So let me just lock that, I'll put that key back under there. Yeah, it's just because that key was too far away. So the fact that it opened the boot, I don't think there's anything in this key that stops relay thieves. So I still think it's acceptable to relay thieves, but at least it's not that main issue, what I'm gonna talk about in a second. A few moments later. Okay, so I've recently been informed that the keys do have relay sleep things in it, and it has since the old key. So here's an old one that hasn't been updated, and here's my new one that has been updated. And what I'm gonna do is gonna lock the car, and I'm gonna leave the key there. And I'm going to lock this one. It might already be locked. No, it's not. Right, okay, that's now locked. So those are both locked. Key for that one is there. Key for that one is there. And there's the time. And we'll set a timer. 
for 20 minutes and we'll try again. Okay, so mine that's been updated and the old one that hasn't, and we're at three o'clock almost. 20 minutes have passed. Let's find out if the keys are gonna sleep. So we'll do the old one first. Now the old one, remember, didn't really pick it up much when I before, but that does seem that it's gone asleep. So maybe they all went to sleep before, which is what I've just been told. And then here's my new one. And it does appear it's gone to sleep. Okay, and here's for the test. Move the key, it unlocked, and mine, we'll just try it again, nothing, give the key a little kick, nothing, give the kick, kick, kick again, and it opens. Okay, they do stop relay thieves and they even did on the old version. Now the other thing this update did was to stop the Game Boy hack. Now, if you want to learn more about that, make sure you click this video here, which is the video I did when the announcement first got announced.